Yo, welcome, Fronies. So today we want to make sure that you're getting the most value out of your ornate point. First thing you want to do is you want to farm as many of those as you can, but those cannot be farmed in game. It's more of like an event currency that Amazon will put out in certain things. And the first thing that we are getting for launch is the ornate points quest for Discord, where you will have to be playing Discord on the app on your computer and have the game running at the same time. If you do this for 15 minutes, you will be rewarded 100 ornate coins to your account. Also, if you're participating in the Guild Conquest event for the first two weeks of the server, you can earn ornate coins as a reward here. And now let's take a look at the shop of the ornate coins. This is the normal special shop right here on the bottom left side. You will see the, um, the stat for it. And the best value you're getting out of the store at the start is the precious blessing pouch those pouches will not only contain purple weapons but that's not really the reason why you pick it those pouches will have additional contracts that you can be doing to then get like really good purple items that are sometimes best in slot for gear and that will give you more soul and more ability to farm open world dungeons and all of this so those pouches have a really good value and they are such a good value that i will buy all of them right now then the next value that is insane is actually the uh, precious skill growth books right here, the purple ones. So let's buy all of them. And then I will show you uh, what I mean. So the best way to upgrade your skills is getting your key damage skills to epic plus three, and then trying to get all other skills to purple before you continue to get all of the other ones to plus three until you then go to plus five. So once you are at the sec deck and you can buy those books, you can now go ahead here, press the dissolve button, yeah? And you will get a lot of blue books ready that will help you to get all of your skills to purple for that power spike. You can see it does cost a bit of Solent, but it is worth it to do because you can now upgrade so many things to get off those values. The rest in the shop is situational. If you're a free to play player, trade extraction stones and enchanted ink can help you to earn more Lucent. If you're currently in an upgrading process, you can also spend some on the growth stones, but be aware that you always want to make sure you do have enough ornate coins when the new month starts by all the precious blessing pouches and all these skill books. So let's do a little skill upgrading session as a bonus at the end of the video. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Well...
please let's go through uh we will need to dissolve one more bar oh wait wait that's actually really close we need four books let's go to the crafter i don't want to dissolve the purple and pay the solent if i can just craft that one Okay, nice. They're all purple. So now from purple we go to plus three for epic. And also parchments can be dissolved. Yeah, and this is basically how easy it is to get full purple skills on a character on Global Launch. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.